Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, in this one I'm going to show you how I converted my Skoda Octavia estate car into a camper. Alright, so this car didn't have the, the false floor um, which some Octavias have. Um, so I've built this, uh, this unit which fits uh, in the boot. Uh, the top of it is carpeted with carpet tiles. Um, which I got from Mike Behrens in uh, Royton uh, and he's managed to get me an exact match with the uh, carpet tile and the interior of the car so really pleased with those uh, well done for that Mike thank you very much um, this side is all one panel that lifts for storage uh, the top is 12mm uh, plywood uh, and I've just put some wooden battens on there to stop it sliding around. The main unit is made up of planks uh, with holes cut out to reduce the weight. The bottom is another piece of uh, plywood and I've covered that with, uh, with some rubber sheeting to, to stop things sliding in there. At the back here, that's just another lift up panel, uh, and that's got another storage compartment under there. Now, at the front, this panel lifts up. Uh, I've got that mounted on self stay hinges. That's bolted on, and the heads of the bolts are actually countersunk into the um, plywood there so they're not protruding at the top. This panel here is food grade Perspex which I got from the Partwell group at Blackburn. That lifts out on coffee table hinges. Uh, under there I have the cooker, kettle, I need to add a cook set and uh, some other bits and pieces in there um, for, the, uh, for the kitchen area. And that all folds back down neatly to leave, uh, leave the boot of the car free. Right, so you may be thinking, if this is a camper, where would you sleep? Well, quite simply, if you pop the back seats down, just take the parcel shelf out of the way, and then if we go around, slots in there. This one slots in there. These are actually fitted. I put uh, spacers in behind a bar there, a wooden uh, wooden bar. And there's a bar that fits on the end of the bed section there. So that slots into that. Stop it sliding around. And as you can see, the seat isn't level, it actually slopes. So that also takes out the slope from the seat to give you a level bed to sleep on. So that makes pretty much a full length double bed. And as you can see there, the whole unit doesn't quite come to the front of the boot. Um, this is for two reasons. One, it gives you that little bit of extra space. So if you have a puncture, the whole thing will lift up from the back and you can still access the spare tire. And two, if you take these panels, 
so they will fit like that and the Octavia has this separate flap on the parcel shelf so you can pull that up that goes over the top of the panels and the seats clip back into place and hold it all in place so that's, uh, that fits in nice and securely and doesn't rattle right so that's the basic unit and then for a mattress as I've got a couple of ideas I've, I've got a an air bed which I'm going to try out um, it's one that's actually made to fit in the back of the car so I'm going to give that a go at some point see, see how that works or possibly make a foam mattress for it with the uh, separate foam blocks that can stack so we'll, uh, we'll have to see how we go with that um, but, uh, I'll update with that on a future video uh, there are also um, one or two additions that I'm going to be making to this so keep your eye out for those it's not quite finished yet as I say that's the basic unit there are a couple of bits that still need doing yet so they, they will uh, they will appear in future videos so for now uh, take care and uh, I'll catch you in the next video thank you for watching bye for now